Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. This is Evelina Malle, here to talk to you about how to survive the summer. First thing I want to mention, first thing I want to say is, this is just stuff that's all about, I, I know it's late, I try to make sure I get everyone covered with these videos, you know, East Coast, West Coast, I know you guys have all sorts of when the summer ends and when the summer begins sort of thing. And I'm sure they try to make sure everything's kind of going the same way, you know, all that nonsense. However, these are just tips to survive the summer in general. I hear of so many people dying of heat, exposure, exhaustion. In fact, I'm going to make a link that will lead you to the CDC, a prevention guide. Hey, that site. Yeah, which is Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. And the website, I believe it's, uh, actually the title is emergency.cdc.gov slash disaster slash extreme heat slash heat you know, underscore guy dot ASP. I got only know I don't know what ASP stands for, but certainly not, certainly not USP. And anyone who's thinking about that that Mean Girls movie where the girl says ah, she gets like ESPN and they said there's something like that. Lord. Anyway, first, we're going to start off with the one thing that irritates me no matter what culture, race, race that you happen to be, and that is the refusal to wear sunblock. I don't care. I do not care who you are. Skin burns. Okay? We don't ask the black pig if his bacon is going to be any less toasted or any more toasted than the pink pig its skin is. Okay? Where are the sunblock? End of story. Too many people die from skin cancer. God knows what other diseases that are attributed to it. Just where? Okay, end of question. This one is more personal and it's more of if you're going out there and just can't stand the, you know, mosquitoes and all that crud and it's the off clip on. You can get this at your you know, local Walmart, it's pretty, pretty easy to have, basically you just get the little, it's just like what this, sorry. it's just what, it's just like the way the picture has it, so that you should have like a little, little switch that's down at the bottom, sometimes I turn it sideways so I can click it on and off, right. switch it sideways, and also, this is not for everyone, but a hat. Okay? I know if they say don't do that, it really makes you very, very hot. It probably doesn't say that much. I'm kind of conflicted on the issue. For me, I wear the hat because uh, it keeps the sun from, you know, directly going on my head. However, it doesn't help the fact it's made out of cloth. And it does tend to hold more heat. I'm aware of the fact that it holds more heat and all that stuff. Most doesn't help that I have a nice full head of hair, so all depends. Depends, I guess. Okay. Oh, along with that, wear clothes that are sensible during this time. You know, the bright colored clothing, just like the news tells you. You know. Okay. It's hot outside, folks. I don't care if you're wearing a 
Well, I guess in some cases, you should worry about wearing string bikinis, but it's not so much around me, just anybody. <laughs> it's on the beach you're going to. Anyways, now on to sensibility. Things that people do that I personally feel like it's summer. It's hot out. Do it. You gotta be careful. You have to do it. Oh, um, I should have also mentioned this. Take a water ball. I don't care if your purse is teeny tiny or gigantic and huge. Water is a must. Um, let's see. Okay. They say drink. They basically say drink more fluids. And but absolutely under no circumstance, no circumstance should does that include iced tea, you know, tea, alcohol. Okay, it it doesn't matter. It's water. Or some kind of liquid. Usually, I would avoid anything that was made out of sugar because, yeah, it mostly because it's a natural diuretic and it just makes you use the restroom more. So that's usually have all your electrolytes, which can really mess you up altogether. So now, yeah. and we'll, you can also it says don't drink liquid that can that contains alcohol or large amounts of sugar. These usually, these actually cause you to lose more body fluid. Also, avoid very cool drinks because they can cause stomach cramps. Okay. Very interesting. All right. Oh, and they say stay indoors if at all possible. Oh, stay in an air-conditioned Yes. And it goes on to mention if your home does not have air conditioning, go to some go to a shopping mall or public library. Yeah, you see that see? See? That's why they usually have library some programs on the shirt. You know, hey, they're gonna get people probably coming from homes that don't have air conditioning anyways. Why not pump it up by having some people come over and just when it's hot out and promote good and literary habits? Why not? Also, they say, oh, never leave anyone in a closed part vehicle. Uh, I can't give any real indication of why, other than if it's a little kid, it's because they're, they say they're not cool, or they're, I guess their natural thermostat is not as capable of balancing itself out when it's hot. Also, okay. Also, anyone at any time could suffer from heat related illness. Some people are at greater risk than others. Check or regularly on. Sorry. <clears throat> they say infants, young children, people aged, people over the age of 65. Oh yeah, people oh, 65 and older. People who have mental illness and those who are physically ill, huh. especially with heart disease and high blood pressure. Sorry, flies. Yes. Anyways, I'd like to also add on to that list uh, anyone who's on certain medication besides that that is sensitive to the heat. Just because 
I understand the CDC keeps those people in mind. Those should be in there. Sorry, I just believe that it should. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Now, these are also tips. Even though they say not to go out in the heat, I already told you this, this stuff as well. <laughs> it says, if you must be out in the heat, it says, limit your outdoor activity to morning and evening hours. Cut down on exercise. If you must exercise, drink two to four glasses of cool, non-alcoholic fluid each hour. A sports beverage can replace the salt and minerals you lose or sweat. Warning, if you are on a low salt diet, talk to talk with your doctor for drinking a sports beverage. Very interesting. Remember the warning in the first tip above too. Okay, I'm gonna read you it because it's Okay. I'll read it to you anyways. Just drink more fluids, non alcoholic, mind you, regardless of your hair activity level, don't wait until you're thirsty to drink. Morning, if your doctor generally limits the amount of fluid you drink or has you want water pills, ask him how much you should drink while the weather is hot. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you much about the water pills. Let's protect yourself. And then there's another. Oh, okay, hey, one of my other tips. That's, that's the I mentioned. Protect yourself from the sun by wearing a wide brim hat. Also keeps you cooler and sunglasses. Yes, this doesn't count. Just showing it that I'm wearing glasses. By putting on sunscreen, SP, it mentions that you should put on SPF or higher. The most effective products say broad and spectrum, broad spectrum or UVA slash UVB protection on their labels. <sighs> That is all on heat. Anyways, okay, before I go and you know, do my catchphrase, yes, I want to say thank you to everyone uh, who has subscribed to me in the past, past few days, past day or so. Oh, uh, thank you to Video Games Oasis yes, for doing my shout out. I have not seen your video yet, but I really do appreciate it. Appreciate it, and a whole lot. I look forward to you, your comments, and what else you have to say about just the usual video games and such. And if you want any more anything of your content, as you may be a mom. Okay. Also. Well, I'm happy to say that my Kidnapped by Anita video is up to 118 views. Yes. Yes. As well as, as thankfully, that my my response to uh, Rep, Mr. Repsion's The Final Fall of Amnesion video has gone up to 278 views. Yes. Okay. And if any of you guys need to make any comments or want any more information, there should be a link down on in the description as well as you can subscribe to me, okay. send comments, and ask me any more questions. I promise I'll do more research. I will not very I want to do an impromptu video because I just felt at summer do something on protection. Some people just don't always remember this stuff. 
that she already amazes me. But anyways, is, is please follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, and please, I know it's been taking a long time, but please is, check out my fan fiction in the next few days or so. Oh, I know it's been taking a long time. I haven't exactly keeping myself focused. Sorry, but I should have a <clears throat> fan fiction out in the next day or so. Oh. And check out my WordPress blog. And this is Evelina O'Malley. Sign out. Peace.